Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. Today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of S Kiss by Shakira. This fragrance launched this year, 2017, and is the fourth edition in the Shakira lineup. This fragrance, also if you technically count the limited edition, really would be like the ninth fragrance in the lineup because there is two limited edition of the original Shakira S, and there's two limited editions of S O Floral. Um, but this is the fourth flanker in the lineup officially. So I have the 80 milliliter box, so it looks like this technically on the back. So it says S Kish by Shakira. And it has this um, lip pattern going all the way around it. You've got lips on top with the Shakira symbol. And then the technical front of the box looks like this, and it just has an S by Shakira on there. It says 80 milliliters Eau de Toilette. And it has this window where the bottle sits. The bottle looks like this this time. And this poof does oddly look familiar to another perfume right there. Right, yeah. But... In my, just my personal opinion and kind of knowing how fragrances work, they do work on fragrances for quite a while. Um, so I feel like this is just a very strong coincidence. The poof ball is kind of in right now. Um, it is, you see a lot of accessories and different stuff. So I just feel like it's a coincidence that they both went with red. I don't feel like her team knew anything about Ariana Grande's team doing a red poof. I just feel like it was highly coincidental. Maybe there will be a lawsuit about it. Who knows? I just think it's oddly coincidental. But I don't think there's any malicious intent in that at all. So, notes for Shakira's S Kiss. Top notes are lemon and fruity notes and sparkling gooseberry, which is also another form of a black currant. Um, middle notes are peony and honeysuckle with base notes of sandalwood and musk. So, this one is slightly floral. Um, when you first spray it, I definitely do get the fruity notes and that kind of ripe black currant note. Um, but the lemon is kind of the more prominent fruit out of the three. Um, and the fruity notes really kind of just gives it a fruity opening. Um, there's not one distinguishable note, but it's very much kind of a red fruity opening um, with that zest of a lemon in there as well. The peony is the standout note, and the florals, um, it is very soft and floral. It adds a sweetness to the fragrance, but it is definitely very floral um, to the heart. Um, it is still very crisp and refreshing with the, the fruits opening up the fragrance, but you can definitely tell with the peony in there that it does add a floralness to the fragrance. And a honeysuckle kind of backs up the peony, so the peony is not so sharp. As it dries down, the sandalwood and the musk do give it a little bit extra of kind of a warmth and dry down. It does have, if you were to compare it to another Shakira lineup, it does have similarities to Magnetic Elixir, but Magnetic Elixir was extremely floral in my opinion, and not my favorite one from her lineup. So I feel like this one is kind of a rehash at Magnetic Elixir and what makes Magnetic Elixir better. Uh, if you didn't like Magnetic Elixir and you wanted something a little bit different, I really do like this one. It is kind of harder to get. I purchased mine off of eBay. Um, from what I know of, it's out there, but it's not super hard, like, easy to get, and it's not super hard either. It's not like Rock Deluxe Edition or the Summer Rocks, where they're a little bit harder to get. Now, she did announce another fragrance at the same time. Um, the, she is releasing I Am Rock, which is going to be the next edition in the Rock lineup. Um, I'm still trying to get my hands on that. I do plan on getting it and reviewing it for you guys. We just have to wait for me to get my hands on it and for a good price. So, with it being an eau de toilette, it does last about four to six hours, which is pretty good. Shakira's um, eau de toilettes do last on the higher end of the eau de toilette line, uh, spectrum. So that's what I do like about her fragrances. And I like that her fragrances aren't geared toward what ours are here. And they don't really get released here a lot for that reason. Um, they didn't do too hot when they first started launching here. So they never continued to launch them here. But they do um, do really well in other countries. And a lot of people do enjoy them. So that's why we keep seeing flanker after flanker come out from her. Because they do really well. So I definitely think this is more of a springtime scent. Um, definitely could transition into summer. But definitely is the spring addition to her lineup. So... 
there you guys go. There is my review of S Kiss by Shakira. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A That's Perfume, and Instagram, I'm on the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. If you guys want to message me and talk to me on Fragrantica, I am on Fragrantica. My screen name is Orion Leo, O R I O N L E O, all one word. Um, so I will message you guys there if you guys want to talk to me there as well. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye. And if you count the technical difficulties. Let's try this one more time. Welcome to modern technology, everybody. Let's see if we can do this again. Welcome to modern technology. Okay, let's record this. The fourth a flanker in the Shakira. Really? 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 Un momento.